I want to pray against every negative word that has ever been spoken over your life. Every unfavorable word that has been spoken over you, we will break through the blood of Jesus Christ today. Every word spoken in opposition to God's word over your life, we'll pray for it to have no effect, to be rendered useless and ineffective in Jesus' name. And I want you to raise your belief because every evil wish, every curse, every hex or spell can be broken by the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you, brothers and sisters, to lift up your faith and look to the Lord. Lift up your faith and take a stand against the enemy. The Bible said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. It never said no weapons will be formed. No, my dear friends, weapons will be formed by the enemy, but they will not prosper. Weapons will be formed by the enemy, but they will be rendered useless by the blood of Jesus. Weapons will be formed by the enemy, but they will not affect you in any way, shape, or form. These weapons include words because Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper. But then it goes on to say, And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. Really get that. Every tongue. Every tongue that rises against you, child of God, you shall condemn. Meaning, you shall denounce. You shall cast it down. Because the Bible then says, This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. So claim your heritage and speak the word of God over your life. Now let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, your word in Revelation 12 verse 11 says, that and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. Father, I speak the blood of Jesus over my life for protection against every negative word ever spoken against my life. I rebuke and cancel every word spoken in opposition to me or my family. I reject every naysayer, every word spoken with the intent to harm me. I cancel every curse, every hex or spell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare that I will overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. And the word of my testimony is Isaiah 41 verse 10. I will not fear because my God is with me. I will not be dismayed, because God will strengthen me. He will help me and uphold me with his righteous right hand. I declare that I will overcome the enemy because the word of my testimony is, the Lord makes me the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. I will always be at the top, never below, according to Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. The word of my testimony is that the joy of the Lord is my strength. I am blessed coming in and going out, and I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Thank you for your word, Lord Jesus, which empowers me to stand against evil. Thank you for your promises, promises that remind me of who I am in Christ. So whenever someone tries to speak the word of discouragement or words of negativity, 
they will have no effect on me because I know who I am in Christ, because I know whom I belong to. So even if weapons are formed against me, they will not prosper because I live under God's supernatural protection. I thank you that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Because Romans 8.37 says that I am more than a conqueror through him who loved me. I am divinely protected because God has great plans for me and I am filled with hope for a great future. I declare victory over the plots of the enemy because if God be for me, who can be against me? I bless your name, Father. I will overcome every spiritual attack, every verbal attack, and every physical attack from the devil because of you, Jesus. And I can confidently say that I am released from the spirit of fear because of the blood of Jesus. I am released from the negativity of the world. I am released from the spirit of disappointment and depression in Jesus' name. I declare the word of God upon my life wherever I go. The word of God that tells me in Luke 10, 19, that I have been given the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your precious word, for your promises of protection. I declare that you, King Jesus, are my hiding place, and under your wings I can always find refuge. I can always find safety and peace. I ask that you would protect me from trouble wherever I go and keep evil far from me. Shield my life. Preserve me from the words that are sent to harm me. Protect me from words that are destructive. Form a protective boundary around my ears so that no evil thing would seep into my soul. Only allow good things, words of encouragement, words that edify and uplift me to enter my spirit. Great is your faithfulness, dear Lord. You are worthy to be praised. I will give you thanks always and forever for everything that you do your protection, your love, and mercy. I thank you that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against me in judgment I shall condemn. Your word says the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. I praise you for your word and its promise, the promise to protect me from the evil one, protect me from all of the traps he sets, protect me from all of the schemes of the devil. You are faithful, God. In the name of Jesus, there is no weapon forged against me that will prosper. In the name of Jesus, I refute every tongue that speaks evil against me. Father, everything that seeks to disturb the peace in my mind, everything that seeks to destroy the peace in my spirit, I ask today, Lord, that you remove it and let it be placed far away from me. And so I pray that may your angels encamp around me. May you deliver me from all of my struggles. Deliver me from every stronghold, everything that seeks to stop my spiritual growth. Deliver me emotionally, physically, and spiritually from all the enemy's attacks. I bless your holy name. Thank you for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.